Hey guys, in this video we're going to create a chat UI in Figma. So we're actually going to leverage one of the screens which I recently created and you can find the previous tutorials where we're creating these free screens from scratch step by step. So feel free to check out, I just left them in the past week. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to duplicate one of these frames, which is a classic iOS frame. And I'm just going to get rid of most of the stuff over here. I just need this as the base. And we're also going to get rid of, of this section, but we're going to keep the line right here. So let's go ahead and let's go and let's create this um, message board. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do, it's uh, going to be, so we're going to change this uh, text right here to chat. It's going to be, uh, I'm just going to make uh, up a name right here and uh, then let's create the chat bubbles. All right. Let's make it uh, maybe not uh, exactly like this, but this this could actually work. Um, yeah, let's just keep it like this for now. And we're just going to experiment. I mean, a big part of all of this is just experimenting and trying to find what's uh, actually working in our scenario. I'm just going to grab one of these and we're using Lato for this, um, for the text. So it's a free Google web font. And um, let's type in uh, some text. Let's make this bubble. And uh, I'm actually wondering if it's, if it's worth uh, making this angle like this. Oops, that's actually not something that I'm looking forward to. And I, would, I guess I will need to add these two elements. And for some reason, this guy is not collaborating. Okay, I think we can just leave it as it is. Um, although I'll, I always like to have that uh, that extra element in the in the chat bubbles, which kind of gives uh, a reference to the fact that. Uh, the person who you're talking to is uh, on this side, if that makes any sense. So, for some reason I managed to, to create this element within the, um, the rectangle. So I'll, let me do it again. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to do it over here, just to be sure that, uh, yeah, there you go. This is actually going to be uh, separated from the main element. And here we go. Let's change the fill, Let's remove the stroke since it's not really needed in this case. And then we're going to go over here, change up this, uh, this a little bit. Maybe let's make it bigger actually. As we zoomed out, uh, we realized that uh, it's uh, not as good looking as it was from below. So yeah, maybe something around these lines uh, would actually do. I'm just going to give it ev an even more of an edge. Cool, so far so good. So I'm just going to Copy this, going to actually change all of this. So let's go ahead here and let's create uh, the second version, which is uh, essentially going to be on uh, the opposite side. So let's take this one, let's flip it. And we're going to change the color to maybe not this gray, but something which is a little bit darker. This is going to make it more clear to read. 
All right, so far, so good. Now let's change the text. And we're actually going to create uh, multiple lines. So let's separate this one. I'm going to create this. Bring it here and let's just make it fit the entire width. So I'm just making up uh, a quick conversation. Set an emoji. And uh, let's uh, update this uh, on uh, the button. You can see what I wrote. That's totally fine. So let's go ahead over here. Let's just add a little bit of spacing between one element and the other, and uh, that will do. So another thing that we want to do is to add some uh, basic text information about uh, the actual text in and of itself. So we're going to add uh, the date and also the time as uh, in the middle. So just going to grab and copy this one from here. It's going to be 17 December. And then this one is going to be 45 p.m. And we're going to make this text smaller since we need to give it less emphasis compared to the actual text. So we just want to maintain that uh, visual hierarchy between the different elements. So keep that in mind. And we're going to change the date over here to 15, or actually 10. And uh, there we go. So I think we're pretty much good to go when it comes to, to the text. I'm just going to add one more uh, bubble right here just to add some, some more interaction and also showing what text in the same day looks like. All right, going to bring this one over here, stretch this one up and there we go. All right, so far so good. Now let's uh, focus on uh, the text area, which is going to be below. And uh, I'm just going to grab this text right here, bring it here, and I'm going to write enter text. I'm going to make it smaller since this one is a little bit too much. So I'm going to make it medium. Let's use the same color as we have on the very top. We're also going to add a emoji icon. So let's go over our head on Nucleo. It's not a smiley. And uh, this is essentially going to prompt the user, notify them that uh, there is uh, the option to add uh, um, emojis or icons to the conversation just to make it a little bit more friendly. And, uh, you know, some, it's just something that we usually have uh, at our disposal these days. So I'm going to copy the color, the color here and here. And there we go. All right. So far, so good. And uh, I think we pretty much have uh, our chat screen. Actually, let's uh, add some more conversation because I really don't like the fact that it's a little bit, uh, should have like some more conversations in this. So let's go ahead here and uh, Perfect. 
let's add some more text. Let's change the bubbles. I'm going to change up and add one more emoji to the equation. And for some reason, it didn't really catch this emoji. We're going to try again. All right, persistency is the key. <laughs> so let's bring this one here. And let's add another emoji. Perfect. All right. So far, so good. So there we go. We have uh, our good little chat screen. And uh, now I need to hop on a client call. So this is pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.